what is going on ladies and gentlemen so big news before we kind of get into this forum post here by matt fior i think is how you say it i think he's like the the boss boss dude a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members but that home this channel would not be possible so uh this kind of came out of nowhere i saw this uh in one of the the discord posts and um i'm gonna read this off to you this is a uh, pretty awesome so uh, i'm not sure how long this has been up it says 5:53 p.m uh, that's probably like yesterday or sometime I'm, I'm not sure this has been covered but this is actually news to me so we're gonna go ahead and read through this together and zoom out here so it's long past time to give everyone an update on where we are in the pvp improvements as many of you know we did a series of tests over the last year to give us more data these tests were successful and gave us the information we needed we now have a plan going forward but a heads up it's going to take some time all right so before we finish reading all this, I predicted that the beginning of the year, the first quarter, they was actually going to step in. Microsoft Game Studios was going to give them resources or the AOK to kind of figure out what they're going to do. I've stated before, this game's infrastructure just needs rework from the ground up. You know, I, I even said, you know, remove Serial for six months, four months, whatever it takes for you guys to get your, get your stuff together. So I'm hoping this is kind of what it's about. Uh, in short, uh, just like we did for the client a year or so back, we introduced the multi-threaded rendering to increase client frame rates and whatever that means, we are going to re-architect our server. I always thought they lended out the servers, but I don't know, rented them. The version of ESO in 2022 is many magnitudes larger and more complex than the ESO that launched in 2014. Yep. So in order to give everyone a good play experience in high intensity situations like PvP and trials, we need to essentially rewrite some of the foundational server code to account for it. Yes, this should dramatically increase server performance, but obviously we will need to test and evaluate as we go along. Um, I mean, this 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 has been this, this should have happened kind of years ago when they first started run, running into these issues. Um, I'm glad they're getting to it now. Um, it's hard to say how long it'll take. I'm sure there'll be a roadmap to come out for this. Um, that would be awesome. All right, so we've been planning for this uh, for the last quarter and we're starting working on it right now. I wonder why we could, didn't have information about this last year. You know what I'm saying? Like when we peppered Rich Lambert and everyone with questions, why, what? I mean, I understand he said we're working on it, but like not into this detail. Like, I don't know if, if I heard like details like this, it'd be completely different. But, uh, but as you can imagine, changing the fun fundamentals of a huge live game such as ESO is a dedicated and multi-step process. So expect this to take up much of 2022. Much of the early work is going to happen behind the scenes and we are definitely not going to rush it. Okay. A re-architecture of this magnitude will require the entire game to be retested and evaluated as this particular code is the foundation on which the game is built. And this is kind of similar to what Overwatch had to do with their base game. They had to completely re-architect and redesign their entire game, but they did that in like three months. I mean, it's it being blizzard. This like... Matt says it's probably going to take the entire year um, because they're kind of on a skeleton crew right now. So I feel bad for these <laughs> these engineers, to be honest. But, uh, you know, more power to them. We'll take tons of Q&A testing time as well. I'm sure when, when the time comes, we'll do a large test as we can on the PTS. In the meantime, we'll consider additional ways to keep Cyrodiil and Battlegrounds interesting and exciting. For example, potential special rule sets. Or weekend events that's awesome maybe give us a little bit more incentive like mounts titles you know just, just really anything and we'll continue to work on bug fixes affecting combat but we won't be adding any new features to pvp until the work mentioned above is completed um i'm okay with that um, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the special rules yet what they mean with that um new content wise i i feel that something to grind for like imperial city events to get a special mount or something of that nature um it's not out of the realms of possibilities i would really like to see some incentive like that um like during the mid-year mayhem or you know like during the end of each quarter or something like that uh, just gotta give us something to, to strive for um doing so would not only prolong the fixes we want to implement but would also exasperate the issue of poor, of poor performance so we completely understand the frustration many of you are feeling especially with lack of information about our pvp plans this was a huge decision to make and we need to make sure we all exhausted all possibilities before announcing this thanks for bearing with us and we will continue and we will give you periodic updates about the re-architecture progress over the course of the year 
Okay. So we have confirmation from my big boy Matt here that they are headstrong on the PvP this year. That that's actually surprising. I thought they were just gonna leave it to hang. I mean, we're not gonna see any injections of pvp stuff but i mean as long as they give us a roadmap and just kind of break down um what they're working on just give us like a a, a bi-weekly maybe a monthly like hey uh here's the plan even if it's like jargon code we don't understand just list it like hey here's what we're working on if anything happens or we find out anything uh, we'll let you know so this is an amazing step in the correct direction for 2022 um just got by your time fellas just just give it time and matt says about a year uh we'll, we'll we'll see i hate that this is gonna take an entire year to reconstruct the game essentially but uh, again this should have been this should have happened over the course of years and not just all kind of pushed into one year getting it all done but uh yeah and this is awesome um so maybe no eh, i don't know. tell me what you guys think down in the comments whether this is just kind of like a, a bunch of hopium, you know, or maybe this is actually going to make a difference in the long run because I personally, I mean, this 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 would be amazing. I mean, uh, this channel is growing pretty well. I would love to continue to do ESO content. And so this kind of revitalizes a little bit of hope. Um, I'm still not going to get my hopes too high up, but this is definitely a step in the right direction, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Don't forget, guys, if you want to help support the channel, the best way to do so is with a like and sub. But I'm gonna go one step further i have a patreon and also youtube memberships you get access to discord links you get access to pvp coaching if you're a patreon sub the emojis shout out to all my videos you know just some food for that so this is my take on it i think this is awesome i'm um, just kind of update you guys on what's going on and i'll kind of flag this and if there's any updates i'll be sure to let you guys know all right catch you guys in the next one peace